Hey there developers, welcome back to our how to create add-ons in Adobe Express series. My name is Hamza and I'm a developer advocate on the Adobe Express team. In our last video, we walked you through setting up your first add-on from scratch. Today, we'll explore some key concepts, techniques, and showcase different APIs available in the add-on SDK. Get ready to level up your add-ons. So you may be thinking, what can you do with the add-on SDK? Here's some ideas of what you can achieve. Importing images and videos, exporting renditions of images in different formats, the ability to create and edit the user's document, powerful content authoring APIs, connecting to external sources via OAuth 2.0, storing and retrieving data, drag and drop support of content to the canvas, retrieving manifest data, managing language and locale, retrieving the current theme and detecting theme changes. Now let's roll up our sleeves and dive into adding some of these use cases. One common use case is to enable drag and drop functionality within your add-on. This makes it super easy for users to move items from your add-on panel to the document canvas. Right now, I have this QR code add-on that I want to add drag and drop functionality to. So as you can see, it doesn't really allow me to drag and drop from the add-on panel to the document canvas. I'm going to add the following lines of code to my add-on. Now let's walk through the function I just added. I'm declaring a function called enable drag on element. It looks for an element with the ID QR code div on the web page. Inside that element, it searches for an image with the image tag. It takes the image's URL and converts it to a special format called blob. If that's a little confusing, just think of it as transforming your image into a unique package. Next, it waits for something called add-on store to be ready, which is where we're gonna initialize the add-on SDK. Once add-on store is ready, the magic happens. It allows you to drag the image from its original spot inside QR code div and drop it anywhere on the page. While you're dragging the image, you'll see a preview of it following your mouse. When you finish dragging the image, a special event called drag end happens, and it's the moment you release the button after moving the image. Now we've added this function for drag and drop, let's see how it looks in action. Awesome, it now lets me drag and drop. How cool is that? Now, if you're like me and don't want to build functionality from scratch, you can check out the samples we collected that contain templates with actual add-on SDK functionality. You'll also find this QR code uh, add-on in there. Let's clone this and check out another cool feature, custom dialogue modals. First, I'll git clone the repo. I'll CD into the folder of a sample that I want to try. In this case, I want to look for the dialogue add-on. In the dialogue add-on repo, just like we did before, I'll run npm install to install the dependencies. Then I'll run npm run build to build the source. And finally, run npm run start to start the server. Here's exactly where the dialogue modal functionality is initiated. These lines of code here allow you to display a dialogue modal. This can contain content and informational messages to users, or even warnings and error messages. If I switch over to Adobe Express, you'll see the modal is opened on this button click. Feel free to customize the dialogue modal's appearance and behavior to match your add-on's unique requirements. This is just a very simple dialogue modal, but we have more advanced custom dialogue modals that let you add images, videos, and more. Definitely check them out. That's a wrap in our session with adding add-on features for Adobe Express. Remember, for more details and code samples, be sure to refer to our developer documentation. Happy coding, and I'll catch you in the next one.